today we're gonna go order the material for the smudge pot number two because the fail from last year was not so good. <laughs> So we're gonna go order the material. We're gonna ride our bike to Daddy's work. On, okay? Okay. No, no, put that on. Mm-hmm. All right, turn she on. There's no. Woohoo! We made it, buddy. You want the keys? Do you remember what key it is? Turn. You did it. Hey buddy, you wanna draw up our smudge pot on the whiteboard? Let me just walk you through the design. As you can see, it has three chimney pieces that are straight chimneys. That will be a sleeve that can slide into the next one. And we're gonna have rivets along these holes that hold it together. And so instead of me having to weld it, I'll just rivet it together. And then here's the tapered version with our logo on here. Here's the exhaust. I called it the exhaust reburn on version one, but it does do that. But another thing it does is it transfers a lot of the heat going up the chimney back down into to heat up the oil. So you can burn oil that requires higher temperatures for ignition. Because gas, you know, it can burn with just the light of a match with diesel and oil from your car requires a lot higher temperatures to ignite. Something neat about this one is I designed in handles. The goal is to make this thing less than 30 pounds. Here's our intake. We put our logo on there as you turn it on. It gets more air into there. This is a funnel to make sure that we don't get any backfire coming out the intake. And again, just very simple and sleek. All the problems with the current ones, if you go buy one that's already pre-made, they're big, they're bulky, and they stay at minimum at least four feet tall. And so to store that in your trailer or in your car, really hard. You make your own custom one, the ones I've seen out there, they're usually made out of thick metal. They're extremely heavy from 100 pounds to 200 pounds requires two guys, maybe three to lift it into place. And it also requires more time before it's going to radiate some heat off. With our design, the goal is that it can quickly break down and all fit into the base just like this. Bring it to camp, open it up, start a fire, burn it all out. And then when you're done, after it's cooled down, break it down, put it back in the base, put it in in a lot smaller storage. This is 16 by 16 by nine. We're going to see how this version two works. Hopefully we don't have another bring on brothers fail. <laughs> So from my solid model that I just showed you on the computer is I was able to just flatten all the metal and put it into sheet metal and upload it onto Oshcut. Oshcut is a laser cutting site that allows you to put your designs on there and they'll give you a pricing instantly to know exactly how much it's going to cost to make each part. I'm going to proceed to check out here. So we've got two different gauges. We've got 0.048 and 0.046 for this design. Last time I went with everything was less than 0.03 and that's why we had the bending and the welding issue. So I've gone a lot thicker on the gauges. Okay, I just got this ordered. It takes about four Four days and we'll get it pulled out of the car and we'll assemble and weld it cal's gonna help me let's bring it on several days later it came Ooh, baby bring it on brothers here's all the laser cut parts let's take them inside and bend them up So we're here at the shop, ready to weld this up. First gonna start with the base and then the lid. Wish me luck, here comes a really fast version of me welding this thing together. That's a little more pretty. Not perfect, but for thin gauge, not too bad. Time to move on to the lid. Now 
and for our very cool chimney tubes. I designed them to have these holes that line up with holes on the inside, put rivets in there. But I've decided, at least for this prototype, so I can take it apart if needed. I'm gonna use these small bolts with some nuts. And so I'll put it through here, and these also hook on through the bottom and lines up with this hole. So I'm gonna go ahead and put all four of these together with my bolts. Welding it up and stacking at least the three chimneys together. Just got time to test. I'm just gonna quickly show you how all these fit inside the base to carry it. Go. Check that out. Super simple. Put some diesel fuel in. The bottom's covered. Flame that started it all. Since it's starting to heat up, you can see the flame gets a little bit higher and higher. I was wondering how we get to burn better. So I blew in it. What happened? Oh, 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 oh. We are going to smell like diesel, bud. Alright, just got it set up again in the dark. Now we go. Running full bore. Nice fire coming out of the top. Green Mountain Brothers looking pretty sweet. She's all warmed up. See the red, man. Center. Putting off some good heat. Look at that. 